Today's job is in Somfont. It's a lovely trek up the mountains. Views are incredible. Uh, I've got the full team on today. Shouldn't be any problems. The boys have done this many times. <laughs> Typical, no one ever comes up this road, ever. There's like three houses. Some of the houses that live on, up on that hill, they don't have running water, so they have to get filled up with a tanker. And as we pulled up to get up the driveway, there was a massive water tanker, and obviously our lorries couldn't get past them. So we were there for about 20 minutes, half an hour, waiting for the water to be unloaded. It tends to happen with us a lot. <laughs> If things, if things can go wrong, they do tend to. Months and months and months and never ever have I had to stop at the road. That was a bit of a screw up because we had like 12 blokes all just sitting around waiting because we couldn't get anything up there. I told Darren, I told everyone, he was like, ah, oh, he went in his car, closed the button, just went on his phone like that. He was just thinking, Arr. Darren's obviously pulling his, what little hair he's got, he's obviously trying to pull that out because he's been going, fuck, it costed me money, it costed me money. All on an early rate, aren't they? So they're all getting paid, 10 men, whatever they're on per hour, times that by whatever, it's a fortune. So I've lost a fortune. And all Darren was thinking is about wages, wages, wages. Oh, I'm not paying all that, I'm not paying this, I'm not paying that. You a lot ain't getting paid your wages, by the way, for standing around doing nothing, you know? We're moving, finally! Daffodin can be packed straight down, passed straight down over the wall. Right, everyone got your hats on? Yep. <laughs> the views were... F all we thought about was the views. It was amazing. You could see miles and miles, a brilliant view. When you're on them roofs and you look over the valley, it literally looks like you're a thousand feet in the air. It's hot up there. No, yeah. Well, no, there's no shade. There's no shelter. You just go pie getting belted by the sun. And then all of a sudden we had to carry tons and tons of rubble and natural stone from down the bottom up the top and... We sweat a lot anyway, but with the heat wave that was there that day, we knew it was going to be a tough one. We're going to start, we're going to start with this edge. Set one up and then we're going to stand on the top and take it off, nibble away at it until it gets to the beam, then we'll do it from the scaffold. The roof we're taking all the tiles, all the cement work, all the walls that were holding the tiles up. Natural stones had to come off the walls as well. Is it, are you in um, and separate reasons. So, because the natural stones were going to Paul, I think. I want you to stop the, there, yeah? And then we need to do it from the scaffold, yeah? Because if we go too far off the weight of this, it'll rip itself out and pull off the house down. If you know how to take them down, they come down quite quickly. I used to be a roofer when I was back in England, so I, I was enjoying the roof, taking the roof off. And it's quite a nice job when you were there because it was that you were able to park the lorry down the slope and get the bucket straight on the lorry. Apple has got... Um, has got some valuable sort of uh, experience in, in the roofing side of things, which always comes in handy. We know how to demo a roof anyway. Like it's not, we know how to, but with him having the experience of being a roofer, then we kind of ask his advice. It's a bit different when you're taking a roof down to put one back up. Breaking things is a lot easier than uh, putting them back together. Because I'm not always there all the time wiping arses. If Apple's available, then I'll leave him on, on a roofing job. Because I'm a musician outside of work. I've been with Dharma for about six or seven months now, outside of this job. And uh, during lockdown, I bumped into Des and Nathan down walking down the street, and they were asking if uh, asking if I was after any work. And since then, I've been with him since. But when he started with us, I thought, yeah, like, I, really, I think he was a really nice friend. I was a hard worker, um, doesn't always get up on time. When he comes in hungover, um, just kind of stands there and kind of goes, oh, is it, is it home time yet? Yeah. <laughs> 
I moved there 10 years ago, maybe 10 or 11 years ago. Just moved here because I was sick of England and uh, wanted to pursue my music career over here. It's, it's sung for me before when I used to DJ in clubs. I used to come on stage and sing in the club and stuff like that. But yeah, he's got, a, he's got a, a good talent, man. It's much better than mine. It's probably like that. <laughs> when, when we know he's, out, he's singing and we have a night where we're going to have a few drinks, we'll go and watch him. He's good. Um, he's got his own style. I've, I've seen him over the years and good, good quality singer. He's singing great. Me and my girlfriend just had a little girl, Noelia, so we'll look after her quite a lot. And uh, walk the dog, I've got a little dog. And obviously working in the night times, playing my music. That's, that's my life at the minute. <laughs> We brought two generators. Sam brought the yellow one out. Right, so tell you what, exactly what we do now, mate. Turn down with the top as well. Exactly. We put on the uh, the power had gone in the the house itself, so we had to grab one of our generators so we had power to use the power tools. We've come to start the generators up. Uh, Apple broke uh, the first generator that that would have been powerful enough to do all the work. Just giving it his boosh boosh, and he just pulled and broke the cold. Because they're just they're machines, you know. They're not, they're not a block of concrete, you know. So you've got to treat them with a bit of finesse sometimes. Instead, we had to use a weaker generator. Kept cutting out. Kept kept uh, the generator kept kept cutting out. It kept uh, overheating. We we had like three kangos, uh, big kangos, running off it at the same time, and it just couldn't cope with it, and it just packed in. So it just slows us down. We had to um, we had to use uh, hand tools instead of. Uh, the power tools which obviously makes it a lot harder a lot slower and um, probably broke our backs a little bit more kangos are important but there is like I say an awful lot that you can do with the hammers move this back we're going to leave we're going to move that back we're going to need to move the buckets buckets back buckets is, yeah. with right. each line of the, of the block and beam yeah we had the long row of concrete to break down and we were like come on Ron let's have a little race right whoever gets to this bit first Gets a beer off each other. Come on, come on. Who's, you know, who's, who's the man here? They would literally bang, 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 bang. <laughs> like that for a good half an hour. He beat me, but he had the biggest sledgehammer. That's not true. That's just because Aaron's about three foot taller than Apple. We fill a lorry and send it to the tip. We always get the driver to stop off and buy 12 bottles of water. But it's never enough. Yeah, it's never enough. You got to... at night before I go to bed. I put a bottle in the in the freezer. So the morning it's 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 a full bottle of frozen water. Take it out of the freezer at seven, and it's melted by it's melted by nine. <laughs> That's how hot it is. Uh, we'd run out of water by like 11 o'clock. That tends to happen to Potter a lot. <laughs> Potter likes to complain. Potter's one who never seems to bring enough enough water. He always needs to borrow a pound off someone to go down the shop and buy himself another bottle of water. I was chipping away at the floor, uh, trying to get the tiles up, obviously because the generator was off. We had to do it by hand and a bit of tile flew and hit my leg. I don't know if the piece of tile was that big or even smaller maybe that big and it left the smallest little cut it was like a paper cut but it would not stop bleeding because you get cut you bleed sometimes you don't even realize you're bleeding until someone points it out i think it was such a sharp slice of a cut that it just cut and it wouldn't congeal so it just kept bleeding and bleeding and bleeding i walked up the stairs just to get some tissue and just wipe it and try to stop it bleeding and i got called a, a lot of names very small very small only small nothing how you can moan about cutting your leg, having a tiny little cut on your leg like that, bless his heart. Bit of a drama queen cane anyway when it comes to that. I just wanted it to stop bleeding, that's, that's, all, I, that's all I wanted. So Kane's hurt his leg. Oh no, I hope it's not his kicking leg. Kane's our resident football player. I played at a good level back home 
Um, I was professional for a little bit. He used to be a goalkeeper. Don't ask me what team because I don't know anything about England. Oh no, I don't. I don't wish Kane played for Everton. We're too good for Kane. He used to play for a team called Son Ferrer in Mallorca, but now he's just uh, he's coaching now. Football coaching, do for children. So he's flat out with that all summer as well. Yeah, he doesn't stop. He works in ten hours every week. Yeah, long hours. Straight after work, after doing a hard day's work with Dharma, he'd go to uh, the, uh, an academy and teach kids to play football, which which is an amazing thing, you know, to have that kind type of patience. He's the worst at for being on his phone. He's the phone he is. What he's, that was last year. This year he kind of notices that being on the phone all the time is a bit of a no-no. Well, I met, met my uh, current fiancé um, and she's kept me here ever since. <laughs> Met her in August 2018 in a bar we was working at and uh, yeah, I've been, been with her ever since and now we're engaged and we've got a baby ready to pop out. She's any day any now. Any day, literally any day. day. I literally. thought it was a Jaffa, uh, you know, like a seedless orange. <laughs> I've always got to keep my phone on me. Every time it vibrates, I uh, poop myself. <laughs> Now time for the calendar shoot with Apple and Kane. I can't add them and eat it. Stop.